to the two nurses of high distinction who will talk to you about cannabis and kids. Nevada Zone, Jules Z. Kilowatt Montero, a registered nurse, has been active in the Vegas and Nevada community, lifting up the spirits and promoting the rights for cannabis patients in Nevada. Her partner, Heather Manis, registered nurse, who's also my SO, significant other, I'm a lucky guy. She's been the longest serving medical director for a medical cannabis dispensary in the United States and was the first certified cannabis nurse in the United States. And we all know that when we're sick and that we need help, we call on a nurse. And in this case, when we want to know how to take care of our kids and all of our others with cannabis medication, we turn to these brave and brilliant cannabis nurses. And it is my pleasure now to introduce our first one, Nurse Heather Mangus. Get a little tech support and get right on. Thank you, Kenny. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Ah, well, welcome, Reno. We are so proud of you that you're having this type of a conference where we can really bring some knowledge and information to you. Um, I've been out chatting with people and I've realized that Reno really is just emerging. Um, it's just starting here, so I'm very excited to be able to bring some basics uh, to you today. So we're, Nurse Julesy and I will be talking about children and cannabis. Nurse Julesy is a pediatric nurse, and my background is in home health psychiatric nursing. We're really going to be looking at the endocannabinoid connections today between kids and cannabis. And these are some of the things that we will be reviewing. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about ethnobotany and ethnopharmacology, the endocannabinoid system science, just briefly. Also, um, the difference between endocannabinoids and phytocannabinoids, the endocannabinoid system deficiency syndrome that we're seeing a lot of, and uh, the methods of administration. How do we use cannabis? <clears throat> and then looking at the holistic nursing approach and how we really apply this to our families. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the plant. And I know that the speaker prior to us said, focus on the business and the plant will come after it. But I'm here to tell you, without this plant, there would be no business. And um, we really need to focus on the plant itself because that's where the power lies. So there's a shamanic artist, and his name is Pablo Amaringo. And this is what he says about plants. Every tree, every plant has a spirit. People may say that a plant has no mind. I tell them that a plant is alive and conscious. A plant may not talk, but there is a spirit in it that is conscious, that sees everything, which is the soul of that plant, its essence, what makes it alive. And cannabis has a wonderful essence and spirit to it. And so I want to talk a little bit about ethnobotany and what it is. It's actually the systematic study of the relationships between plants and people. And we definitely have a relationship with this plant, without a doubt. And some of the things that ethnobotanists look at are how we as humans interact with this plant. What are some of the things that we do to plants? such as destroying weeds or domesticating plants that we want to use for medicine or food. 